Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Grammel School. Many base coat manufacturers add acids into their products. And that may result in dryness, cracks, and even nail plate burns. That's why acid-free base coats got so popular lately. But are they actually acid-free? And what makes them so superior? Let's find out together! I have already prepared the nails and done a manicure. So they are ready for a base coat. These are medium-length nails. If they were longer, I would have used solid materials, such as liquid polygel, gel, and so on and so forth. But today I'm going to use base coats. And I've got new base coats by iRisk. They are acid-free. So let's take a closer look. Their pH indicator is 6. So these are neither alkaline nor acidic. Since their pH is neutral, they won't be too harsh on the nails. The base coats come in small, medium and large bottles. Large ones are great for busy nail tags with lots of clients. One can also pour some into smaller bottles. There are nude, shimmery, milky and clear ones. I suggest we take a test to proof check their actual pH. A quick intro. Acids are added into base coats for better adhesion. So without them, no material would last on the nails. So there is always a small amount of acid. There are also different types, but it's not a chemistry lesson. And nail techs are not required to know words like hydroxyethylmethacrylate and so on. Just the basic acidity principles and its effects. First and foremost, acids do not cause a burning effect. Because many think that if the base coat burns in the lamp, then it's acidic. Which is not true. Now I'm going to use some pH testing stripes. These can be found in online or offline manicure stores. But note that the results may not be 100% accurate. Because only the product manufacturer may provide pH info. So there is no way we can do it accurately ourselves, because it's all done at a factory. But we can at least get close enough to know if it's more or less acidic. It's between 5 and 6 here, which is true to the label. Now let's discuss coating natural nails. Before acid-free base coats, we go with an acidic primer for proper bonding. Because without it, the coating may not last well. So we apply the primer, wait for it to dry, and then we can do a regular base coat alignment. If the coating does not last long on the client, then we can go with a clear base coat first. Since clear base coats contain no pigment, they cure way better. I cure this layer in the lamp and then align the nail with a camouflaging material. The technique will depend on the natural nails, whether they are thin or hard, and how well they normally last. So this part will be individual for each client. These base coats by Irisk are free of nine most harmful chemicals. So they are not toxic. That also makes base coats superior. Here's another key point. You often ask me how to safely switch from acidic to acid-free base coats when clients' nails are used to the former. Well, I recommend you go with an acidic base coat first, 
and cover up one third of the free edge at the tip, where it mostly peels off. Cure it and then cover up the nail with a non-acidic base coat. You can align it or do a clear layer first and then go with a camouflaging one. The nail plate will get used to it. And it will grow healthier under the non-acidic base coat. And then you can easily switch to low acidic materials. Besides, they won't dry out the nails that much. Speaking of acidic base coats, those are not bad and we can use them. We can do a thin layer on complex nails, why not? But they hit different when used for nail alignment. You know, those thick nails. And using tons of acidic base, it's likely to get a nail burn. There are actually various causes, but some of them are thick layers, high power curing, and using high acidic materials. Since nowadays it's all about having healthy nails and staying healthy in general, non-acidic base coats are current favorites. Moving on to nail art. I'm going to use some fake lip goals. I randomly spread it on top and covered it up with a thin layer of the base coat to tone it down. Cure it in the lamp and add more pieces of lip gold. This way we can get a 3D effect with more depth and definition. And all due to this tone variation. And now we can cover it up either with a glossy top coat or with a matte one. That is totally up to your or your client's wish. Just know that light matte coatings get dirty very quickly and glossy tops provide better protection. But it's up to you. We decided to go with the matte one. And here's the final look. Give it a big thumbs up if you love the nail art. And to sum it up, acidic base coats are not toxic when you know how to use them. And non-acidic materials will make your client's nails healthier and stronger. I wish you all healthy nails and success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.